Hello, in this video I'm going to briefly introduce you to some other oxidizing agents uh, that are used to oxidize alcohols. Um, the, uh, the oxidizing agents that are on me on this list are, are things that have been developed for a number of purposes. Uh, one, to, uh, and, and this is going to be a central theme, you know, to, to avoid chromium, which is toxic in, in its plus six oxidation state. And, and it's that plus six oxidation state uh, in which all of the chromium-based oxidizing agents you know, operate. Two, oxidize primary alcohols to aldehydes and stops. Uh, Earlier in this video sequence, I introduced you to PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, which has this, which behaves this way, but because it contains chromium, uh, it's perhaps not the most desirable reagent. So let's cover uh, a couple. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about bleach. Uh, and in, in bleach, the, the active oxidizing agent is sodium hypochlorite which has the formula NaOCl. Uh, and this is actually an aqueous solution. Uh, and so like other uh, aqueous solutions, it's probably not gonna stop at the aldehyde uh, for primary alcohols. Um, bleach and sodium hypochlorite is also a slightly basic solution. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of sodium hydroxide in the solution that's a byproduct of uh, the synthesis of bleach. The primary alcohols get converted to carboxylic acids, uh, like other oxidizing agents that occur in water, or other oxidizing reactions that occur in water. Oops, getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, and then very frequently, because many alcohols are not soluble in bleach proper, that in addition to bleach, and let's actually, let's write aqueous sodium hydroxide or sodium hypochlorite, uh, some sort of organic co-solvent um, like acetic acid is used and, and the, the acetic acid can help oxidize or help activate the hypochlorite ion into a better oxidizing agent. It can also help activate the alcohol in, in, for, for various reasons. Uh, for reaction with the hypochlorite. And then as uh, usual, secondary alcohols are oxidized to ketones. Uh, this is this is what secondary alcohols do uh, for with just about every oxidizing agent. Secondary alcohols are oxidized to the corresponding ketone. All right, uh, the next reagent that I want to talk to you about, or the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the Swern oxidation, uh, named after, well, named after its discoverer, uh, chemist by the name of Daniel Swern. And the Swern oxidation uses two reagents, oxalochloride and dimethyl sulfoxide to oxidize alcohols to the corresponding carbonyl compounds. So let's actually grab my secondary alcohol here. Let me write this out a little bit different way. Oxalochloride. I apologize for the pro, for the uh, pause, the MSO, and two uh, triethylamine or some other kind of base. Here we go. Um, and and the oxalochloride reagent has the the following 
structure. So it's essentially two carbonyl groups smushed together uh, and chloride, chlorides on it. It's the acid chloride of oxalic acid. And it's a pretty good electrophile. Uh, the reaction mechanism here is really interesting because the oxidizing agent is actually that dimethyl sulfoxide, which we are used to seeing as a solvent when you need a polar a protic solvent. But in this case, uh, here is my dimethyl sulfoxide. It is the uh, oxidizing agent. And in the process of this reaction, dimethyl sulfoxide is reduced to dimethyl sulfide, which is a gas and pretty stinky. So in addition to oxidizing uh, secondary alcohols to ketones, the sworn oxidation oxidizes, let's make a primary alcohol, primary alcohols to aldehydes. And so this sworn oxidation can uh, replace the functionality of PCC without having to use uh, without having to use other uh, chromium-based uh, reagents. And I wanted to share with you just one additional type of of uh, oxidizing agent, and these are the the hypervalent iodine compounds, uh, of which there are several, but, but perhaps the most one that's, of, that's of the most well known is the desmartin per iodinone, oops, which is a weird thing. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the desmartin per iodinane, not, not, And sometimes you might just see like Desmartin written above an arrow or DMP, this thing is abbreviated because what I'm in the process of drawing for you is a pretty wacky thing. I have this iodine that has, it's stuck in this benzene ring and it's got all of these acetate Groups and this carboxylic acid. And like this iodine has five bonds. That's pretty wacky. Uh, but the desmartin per ionate, nionate also oxidizes primary alcohols to aldehydes. It stops. And like the PCC reagent, is soluble in a wide range of organic solvents. And so it, it's, it's useful in that particular uh, application. There are other hypervalent iodine compounds beside this, uh, uh, all of them with pretty wacky looking structures. So this concludes my video series on alcohol oxidations. And even in, in, in addition to these three types of reactions, there are many other alcohol oxidations that have been developed over the years. Uh, and if you stay with organic chemistry, I'm sure you will encounter lots and lots of them. Thank you for watching.